that the Le'Veon Bell drama is behind them, they move forward as currently constructed. Heading to Jacksonville to take on a disappointing Jaguars team. Jags are 3-6, and six, but they seem to have the Steelers' number. Pittsburgh seeking revenge for the two times they lost to Blake Bortles and company last season. Big Ben says he isn't taking Jacksonville lightly. From front to back, they're really good. I'm um, really fast. Um, you know, a lot of teams we say, um, you know, it starts up front, you know, with their pass rush. And, and this group has a, an unbelievable pass rush with their front four. Their linebackers are some of the fastest you'll ever play against. And their secondary is as good as the secondary you're going to play. So there's really nowhere to start and, uh, and finish with this group. They're just that good. So, uh, like I said, this will definitely be the biggest challenge for us. So surprising that the two big losses last year were to this Jaguars team. What, what do the Steelers have to do to avoid another loss to this team, C? Uh, you got to listen to Ben, what he's saying as far as how you attack Jacksonville. They are very, very fast, not only on the back end, especially their linebackers, but the linebackers with that speed, they're a little undersized. Pittsburgh, what have they done to people? They've spread them out, and, man, they have run the football. They have been physical. Their offensive line has played great, which has led to James Conner having a great first half of the season. That's the way you attack Jacksonville. Then you get some play action. Right now in the National Football League, there is no one better as far as a deep threat than Antonio. So then you physical play action. You get Antonio some of those double moves against Jalen down the field. Leads the NFL as far as big plays, touchdowns over 20 yards. He's got seven of them. So man, that's the way I think. James Conner, let's get some play action after the James Conner and let's get A.B. on some of those double moves against Jalen. Old spicy mouth and let's see what he's got to say after the game. Nick? Oh, that makes me laugh every time. Listen, the Steelers are one of the hottest teams in the league. The Jags are playing terrible football after the great start for the season one and six in their last seven why is this game a potential trip-up game for pittsburgh man last year pittsburgh was 13 and two against the nfl not named the jacksonville jaguars and those two losses were an overtime loss to chicago and a last second loss to new england mm -hmm. so they played 15 games against teams that weren't the jags either won them or lost them on the final play the overtime to the the interception against new england and the overtime loss to chicago the jags Molly whopped them in the regular season and then jumped all over them in the AFC divisional round before Pittsburgh kind of made it close late, but Jacksonville was in firm control throughout that football game. So if there's any team that even this season, Jacksonville's going to go into a game saying, oh, we're better than them. I don't care what the records say. We crushed them twice last year. We know. It would be this football game. My question is, can more on the Jacksonville side than the Pittsburgh side? I know who the Steelers are. They've made it very clear who they are after the beginning of the season where they had their struggles. Their defense is playing the best it's played since Ryan Shazier's injury. The offense has always been dynamic since they've had Ben and Antonio Brown, and they've got a close proxy of Levy on Bell and James Conner. Haven't skipped a beat. I want to see if this Jacksonville defense can channel anything that it was like last year. Because this year, the, we can put everything on Blake Bortles, that's fine. But this defense that was first or second in everything last year is 10th in points, is right now 18th against the run. The only category where they're still in the top three is passing defense. Like, what can this Jacksonville defense show you in a year that is a lost year for them? But if they're trying to build on anything as a young team needs to, this... Uh, this game at home could be the biggest game remaining on their schedule. Good teams don't lose five, lose five games in a row, let alone great defenses. So when you look at this Jacksonville team, to me, will they ever get back to that? Man, they are on pace to get a top 10 pick again. That's what's more likely. Them be picking in the yep. top 10, picking top 5 again, which we're used to with Jacksonville compared to this defense returning. Like, this is a team, man, they talked an awful lot before the season. And I hate to say it, Nick, I told you so, old spicy mouth Jalen, all right? He put it out there. All these quarterbacks, oh, this guy can't play. Oh, he can't play. You know who can't play right now, Jenna? Jacksonville, second worst record in the AFC. Only better than Gruden and the Raiders. Oh, so, that's that's what right. they, so that's what they've talked themselves into this year, all right? Five in a row that they've lost, all right? What good team have they beaten in the last month and a half? None. 
So I don't expect that to change. Pittsburgh, I believe this is a one of those get-back games. And Pittsburgh is very, very focused and excited to get out of the snow slush of Pittsburgh. Let's go to Jacksonville. Nice cut field, short little grass, beautiful sunshine. Hurricane season is over with. So you, by the, this is a game, you're saying this before the show. I just want you to emphasize it. Pittsburgh's happy this game's in Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. Watch out. Pitts, uh, Pittsburgh will have 30,000 fans there that have planned for this trip. Absolutely snowbird. Let's go on down to Florida in November. Jacksonville, the, the, the team that we used to know, they are back. Team going to be picking in the top five, top ten again. Spicy mouth cornerback. Oh, yeah. Ruin their season with the one GQ. Ruin their GQ ain't calling them no more. That is true. They won't be in any feature no. magazine. No, you got it all out of the way. Yes. Jags losers of five in a row. Steelers yep. winners of five in a row. Yep. Give them face off on Sunday in that warm, sunny Jacksonville. Grass is yep. good. I, nice got you. I got your message, Jalen. You didn't.